Yo, what up? Welcome back. I decided to keep playing. That was an NR student council work, so I'm guessing she's still in there. There's definitely someone in there, but there's no response. Oh, I know. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Oh, she's asleep. Yep, I knew it. No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. coming in without permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh, I did try to look as little as possible. Well, if you say so, hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh, I'm sure you do. Come with me. Um. What's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all. And I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. What does but that have to do with anything? That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. You tell okay. that to the you tell that to the people nowadays. That's what men do. Most men would more than likely more than likely keep whatever is going on in their personal life to themselves and because of that they will put up with whatever and never let anybody know if they were deadly sick they would most men wouldn't tell a soul i've seen that from experience actually if it gets too much it's all right to sit down and let it all out Okay. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so... so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. Man, that cuts deep, I'm so, sure. Don't get so worked up about it. <laughs> well, as his okay? officer said, your words cut deep, deeper than any blade. I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. That's fair. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. Who's gonna be student council president? Now? You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? What is NGO? 
Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, New government offices? Medicine. After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the Courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little overdramatic there, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I'd completely forgotten too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. But... you've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is class 7 if it were any different. Yeah. Well... if you say so... Okay, I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Yeah, you're welcome. Again, he's just a good guy. Green. Hey guys, didn't expect to run into you. <laughs> yeah, crazy, qu crazy, crazy coincidence, huh? Are you heading back to the dorm? That's the idea. Why don't we all head back together then? Something we've never done. It's nice to see the flowers as they start to bloom. Yeah, no, you said earlier they'd be in four. <sighs> oh, we we'll clever to the end of the month, personally. It is in time for the walking ceremony. The new students will be able to begin their academic lives here being surrounded by the flowers just as we did. How wonderful. We all known each other since your first day here, right? That's right, nobody else started partway through the year like you did. Back then. But back then, I never imagined we'd get along this well. We got off to a kind of a rocky start. Yeah, you're telling me, especially Machias and Yusus. what it's worth, I do regret the way I acted back then. It's not something I'm terribly proud of. Thanks. I, wait, hold on. What was with that expression? You, were, you weren't exactly standing on the moral high ground either. I wouldn't have had hunts. I wouldn't have had as much of a reason to behave the way I did if you had just kept looking. Kept... Yeah. I suppose the same could be said that you are in Reen's little incident at the start of the year, couldn't it? I just had to bring that up, didn't you? I should have seen this coming. Oh, little incidents are my favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me! Well, don't you dare! She's the last person who needs to know! <laughs> I can't imagine too many teachers welcome their students by dropping them through a hole in the floor. Without having to fight the gargoyle on the way out, that's a pretty memorable start to a school year. That gargoyle proved to be quite the opponent, too. Also, we finally managed to pull together and defeat it. She just casually drops in like nothing happened. It was like she was lying in wait the whole time, watching and waiting for a chance to strike.
Still as exhausting and unusual as it was, that's how our class began. I'm pretty sure it burned in all our memories at this point. How could it not? I have no doubt about that. Even so, I'm sure it's one of the memories that I'll cherish decades into the future. <clears throat> oh, now you got me all jealous! Now well, it's my turn to do something crazy that makes you more vulnerable on the suit, don't you dare. Yeah, I wonder what crazy things she would do. Uh, hopefully I'm related though. What are we gonna do for dinner tonight? I'm only planning on getting something over at Kirsch's, but if anyone had any better ideas... I think it might be a good idea to make something for ourselves. If we divide up the work between us, I'm sure Emil will have quite a bit of variety too. It does sound nice, my cooking skills were in danger of getting rusty too. No objections here. Well, unless anyone has what they... has what they need already. I think it's time we split up. That won't be necessary. Huh? Sharon? Hey, Sharon. What reason could you possibly have for being here? <laughs> the chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. He and the chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? <laughs> oh, why are you here? It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. <laughs> I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines. If you'd like a snack to accompany your beer, would you like them alongside your dinner? Damn it. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. <laughs> Fair enough. Man, that kid is long winded. Believe that. <laughs> I might have eaten too much. It's been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. Cool. But where, how the store progress would you return to Rain's room? I like how it's telling you this. Like you're going to have more than one free day. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Taking care of your violin? I did not expect this to be voiced. Yeah, it's taking care of me over the past year, so why not return the favor? I'm actually planning on giving a few of them to the Academy before I go. Wow. Just to make sure next year's first years have something to practice with. That's really generous, and sure to make a lot of people happy. And you'll finally be heading off to a music Academy, just like you always wanted. I bet they'll push you pretty hard over there, too. I don't doubt it. I'm going to need to be all music all the time if I want to stand a chance of keeping up. Though, to be honest, after all the time I've spent here, I don't really want my life to be completely about music. I love it, obviously, 
but to be a balanced person, I want to have a bit more variety in my life, like I had here at the Academy. Cool. For one thing, I don't want to get too rusty with my orbital staff. Good to hear. I hope everything works out for you. Thanks. Me too. Uh... Hmm? No, it's nothing. Either way, Heimdall and Trista are really close, so don't be a stranger, okay? I know you're gonna have tons of work to get through between your classes and your missions, but... Don't worry, I'll make time. I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to see each other. There's still a ton of Heimdall I haven't seen, too. You'll have to show me around next time I make it over there. You bet. So I will say... I won't say what specifically, but... And there is an anime that takes place between Trails of Cold Steel 2 and 3. I would suggest playing 3 and 4 before watching it. Maybe. Like, I mean, it, obviously it fits perfectly between 2 and 3. But you do see glimpses of Reen and some of the others. So, hey, that's Machias. all I will say. Working hard or hard? <laughs> I'll stop you right there. You're working hard or hard? Is he going to say hardly working? Of course I'm hard at work. Just look at the size of this book. If I can't internalize as much of it as possible while I'm here, I'm doomed to failure from the start. And this is one of your new textbooks? Man, Heimdall's political academies don't mess around, do they? Okay, so he's going... So, okay, so they're all going... So they're graduating and going to other You'll be stuff. the youngest person there, right? Most likely. I'd normally need to have graduated from Thor's with a bit more experience under my belt to have gotten in. There are a few Thor's grads there already, though. They take some every year. And as you might imagine, the recent political upheaval has the place swarming with applicants this year. Wait, so they're graduating or not? Because I know that Reen's going to have to do the year. The, the, year. the entrance the year exam again. was hard enough on its own. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, this one never made sense. I assume that his classmates are graduating and moving on, and he has to spend another year. Can't say I envy you. Still, I know you're going to be just fine. You're so smart that you can handle any subject they throw at you. Growing up with your dad should give you a leg up on the politics, too. Yeah, no pressure there. Honestly, there are times when I think diving into things head first like this is a giant mistake. Yeah. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... I know we're probably going to both be really busy with our own lives come spring, but let's make time to have lunch together once in a while or something. Okay? Studying is all well and good, but even I need a change of pace every now and again. <laughs> I think that can be arranged. I should watch the northern anime again. The train from here to Heimdall only takes a half hour. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't hang out sometimes. Then it's a date. <laughs> nice. Huh, it's a date. What's up, guys? Are you finishing up your painting, guys? Yeah, this is my last one. I want to make sure I'm completely satisfied with it before declaring it finished. That's understandable. You're going to keep painting once you're back at home, though, right? Well, I don't know how much time I'll have to set aside for it, but I intend to keep working on it, bit by bit. There's growing reason for concern in Calver to the east of the Highlands. But all in all, things are more peaceful now than they were. I should be able to focus on painting my magnum opus. Oh, is it going to be ignored? If anyone can make a masterpiece of the Highlands, it'd be you. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad idea. But actually, I was intending to paint a picture of the Academy, its students, and the courageous. Yo. You mean... Now you're getting it. I want to capture the day we liberated the Academy. And once I've finished it, I fully intend to return to Erebonia with it in hand. I look forward to seeing it, my What dude. better way to forever memorialize this place as my second homeland? Man, you really are amazing. Well, if you ever need reference materials, you know who to call. I can get pictures of anything you might need and send them over. I know you're talented, but that's a lot to paint off of just your memory. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. I will enjoy all of these actions. I'm going to watch Something every single one uses? For the first time in a long time, no. I'm just taking a short break. Looking over an endless sea of documents can be rather tiring on the eyes. 
Oh, Whoa. are those the tax reports you mentioned? Ordinarily, this would be my father's work, but His Majesty has yet to decide his fate. Rufus hasn't so much as glanced in Berea Hard's direction since he took his new job in Crossbell, either. As such, the task falls to me. Man, I knew everyone in our class had it pretty rough right now. You've got it roughest, no contest. <laughs> if my ego had its way, I would boast that filling in for my father is a simple and mundane task. But on top of the paperwork, I'll need to manage the provincial army and oversee the province as a whole. Then there's the matter of keeping the most stubborn of the nobility in check. I don't expect the first six months to be pleasant. <laughs> the fact that you're already thinking six months ahead is pretty impressive as it is. Standing in for Duke Alperea like that must take some real confidence. I know you'll manage, though. <laughs> that much is obvious. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's nothing. In the days to come, more people will be relying on you than ever before. Yep. But no matter who does so or what they ask, do not lose your pride as a noble. Act independently, your head held high. Maintain your pride and your autonomy, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. That's right, he's a noble. I promise I will. <laughs> I'll forget some that. thumbs. Because, you, you know, like, it's not something you think about. Like, you know, years it comes up enough that, oh yeah, he's a noble. But, and, you know, I'd say enough for Laura as well, but I sometimes I forget Reen is a noble. Hey, speaking of Laura. <laughs> what are you looking at, Laura? <laughs> it's you, Reen. I'll show you. Oh, you and Monica got a picture taken together? You both look so happy in it, too. That we do. Someone in the photography club kindly offered to take it for us. I thought it would make a fine souvenir of my time at the Academy to take away with me. My mirror's on that being Rex. Oh well, it's a nice photo, and he got permission. For once. <laughs> I never expected you and Monica would get so close. Between her and Fee, you kind of have a knack for becoming the best of friends with the ones you bump heads with first. <laughs> Please, don't say that. I'm truly grateful to both of them for broadening my horizons. Meeting them enriched my life in ways I could have never pictured before. Truly, coming to this academy was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I didn't realize we'd made such a big impact on you. Oh, not you, Reed, but <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, you did. And don't mind me, I'm just feeling a little emotional. This isn't like me at all now, is it? There's no harm in a few tears, I suppose. This will be my last time I can relax before my training, after all. Yeah. You're not gonna get much rest in with the training you've got lined up. I won't be learning the Arsade School's advanced techniques with training any less intense. I have no idea where we'll be conducting said training, but it will no doubt be as perilous as it will be dangerous. I had to spend a month in the Isengard range as part of mine. I don't think a month's going to cut it with what you're doing, though. It goes way beyond your average techniques. Indeed. I'm anticipating that it will take at least half a year, if not more. Father's going to be with me. But with things as difficult as they are, part of me feels guilty for taking up his time. I don't know about that. I think him agreeing to train with you shows how much faith he has in your potential. Also, he is your dad. Besides, in a lot of ways, this might be the best time to do it. That is very true. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. Regardless, I'd love to come and visit you should the opportunity present itself. And if it does, I'd like to formally request a duel with you to test how much the two of us have grown. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know who's going to win that duel. But your invitation is all the motivation I need to get plenty of training in myself. Can't have you beating me too badly. I hope you will. I'm sure you might want to squeeze some training in Reen. I'm sure. Emma? Yep. Emma? Hey, worse. What are you doing? Oh, I'm hi there, Reen. Well, Dorothy and I decided that we're going to put together one final collection of stories as a club. Since then, I've been working on a story for the students who will join the club next year. Oh, that sounds neat. Wait, if Dorothy's involved... Uh, the content is totally appropriate for children of all ages, I assure you. Admittedly, 
Dorothy's own story sounds like it'll have a few of her favorite literary elements, but all in moderation, she assured. <laughs> Not that I'm one to judge. What kind of story are you writing? It's supposed to be a fairy tale. I can't pretend it's 100% original, though. I borrowed some elements from a story I heard as a child. It's going to star a golden unicorn and a pure-hearted maiden. Or at least, that's the plan. Sounds interesting. But it's called The Last Unicorn. <laughs> Can I give it a read when you're done? I'll still be here next year, so if I see any first years who seem like they'd enjoy it, I'll recommend it to them. <laughs> I have to confess, I'm a little embarrassed to let anyone see it. But the whole point of a story is to be read. Hmm. Something wrong? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm sure you and Valimar will be just fine without my help now. Still, if you do need anything, don't hesitate to get in touch. It may take some time to contact me, though. You'll need to use a method that isn't exactly conventional. Yeah, I could have guessed as much. I mean, I theoretically get how to use runes to communicate since you told me, but I have no idea how it actually works. I'd be shocked if you did. It's pretty far removed from the horrible technology you're used to. It has its benefits, though. For one, you'll be able to reach me no matter where I might be. So don't ever hesitate to drop me a line if you need my assistance. I'd always be happy to hear from you. All right. I'm sure I'll give you a ring. Or a rune, I guess. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I hope you end up being able to find Vita, too. Thank you. <clears throat> No, I had to have had these interactions, because one of the trophies is getting 100% of the character guide. So I must have seen these before, it's just I haven't seen them very much. It's been a long time, rather. It's been over a year. Feeling sad about leaving the lacrosse club behind? Yeah, I was really into it by the end. I think it'll make for some wonderful memories to look back fondly on in the years to come. I can imagine. Yeah. Does that mean you're not going to keep up with lacrosse and Ruhr? I don't think I'll be able to. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any local teams I could join. And even if there were, I doubt I'd have the time for sports. Just thinking about how busy I'll be makes my head spin. No, no, scratch that. Being busy is all the more reason I need to make time for exercise. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Helping out with the Reinford group sounds like a recipe for one all-nighter after another. <sighs> Not just yet, actually. I won't be helping until Grandfather shows me the ropes. As I am now, I doubt I'll be able to do much at all in the way of rebuilding the company. But you can bet I'll leave Mother speechless with how much progress I've made in a year's time. <laughs> I'm sure you can if you put your mind to it. And I know Sharon will always be willing to help you out if you need her. She probably would, but then she'd just tell everything she did to Mother. <sighs> Lisa? Oh, don't worry about it. I was just thinking about how blessed I am. I've got a wonderful family, a great club I'm part of, all of you as my classmates. Oh, right. It took me a long time to realize the same thing, too. We yep. really are one and the same. Yeah. Elisa? Uh, uh, <laughs> It's nothing, uh, honestly. I'm just feeling a bit emotional all of a sudden. I don't know what's gotten into me. Nothing's wrong, though. I promise. But... Still, let's both make the most of our free day tomorrow. I wonder if I had picked, an Ali pick and picked Alisa, if this would have changed the scene a little bit. It's the last one we'll ever have as a class. The last thing any of us want to do is end it with regrets. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Let's make it a day to remember for both of us. I don't... <clears throat> I don't mind playing the cannon, but... God, this is such a garbage pick. Nah, uh, she's not that bad, but I, I just... no. Hmm. Seeds? Are those seeds you've got there? Yep, Adel gave them to me. They all came from the plants we grew in the gardening club. I'm just looking at what kinds there are here. Really? That's really nice of her. It's kind of like you can take everything you've achieved over the past year with you. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even going to join a club until Adel found me relaxing and invited me. But I guess it wasn't so bad. 
Pep Pep. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to check on the gardening club every once in a while just to see how things are going. It would be a shame if all the plants you've spent so long looking after were to wither and die. It doesn't matter. Even if they do, they'll eventually bloom again somewhere else. Kind of like us. When you put it that way, I suppose you're right. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. This one and this one should be okay too. What are these for? They're the easiest ones to look after. You can try raising them if you want. Don't worry if they wilt or anything though. When I've found the others from Zephyr, I'll come back and check if they're still blooming. If they are, you get a pat on the head. <laughs> hey, I thought the head rubbing was my job, but I'll give it my best shot. Aww. Let's see, you're instructor. So I'll get you next. What's up, Milliam? Oh, hey, Reen. It's nothing. I just feel kinda down. Down? Yeah. I was just thinking about how everyone was at dinner time. Sharon's food was really nice, and we all seemed like we were having a good time. But I don't know. It was weird, like we were all upset but didn't want to let it show. It's been bugging me. Oh, so that's why. You really have grown so much these past few months. And not just mentally. I think you've gotten a little taller too. Maybe. About two rage or so? Judging by my specs, I'm not going to get much taller than this though. I'm mini million forever and ever. But you never know. Maybe I'll grow up to have boobies so big, I can use them as a shelf like Emma's. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? Nah, not really. So, you've got a new mission starting next month, right? Yep, I've got to go see how things are over at West. Duke Cayenne's been arrested, but it sounds like things are still pretty nuts over there. Oh, but guess what? I might get to go out to Liberal and Rimaferia soon. That's cool. What is it with you and blabbing classified information? Well, whatever. Just promise me you'll take care of yourself. Be sure to keep in touch. I'll always be right there when you need me, okay? Righto, I promise. Part of me wants to hear what this sounds like in Japanese. That goes double for you, mister. If you need me to bust you out of a jam, just say the word. <clears throat> like I've never other... Uh, look at the little doll. <laughs> like, other than the anime, which I was watching in sub, because that's all that was available, I have never... At the time, at least. I have never s heard the Japanese. Hmm. Something on your mind, Instructor? <laughs> you could say that. I've been mulling over how things are going to be come next month, but all this soul-searching is giving me a headache. Well, it'll probably feel strange being back with the Guild for the first time in two years, but I bet they'll be glad to have you back. Things are probably going to be rough over there, even with you taking up the Bracer life again. No doubts there. I can already see plenty of traveling abroad in my future after what happened over in Crossbow. And I imagine it'll keep getting harder and harder for us bracers to operate here, too. <sighs> What's with that sad puppy look? There's no reason for you to feel ashamed of what you've chosen to do. I'm proud to have a student like you who can stand up and make the tough choices life thrusts on us. Thanks, Instructor. I'll try to just grin and bear it for now. That a boy. Sticking it out through the hard times with a smile will put you on the fast track to becoming a great man. Just make sure you don't try to shoulder too much. All that'll do is turn you into a jaded grump. Everything in moderation, okay? Uh, thanks? Aww. What's this for? Just a little something to keep you motivated. There's still a part of me that wants to drag you along with me and sign you up with the guild. But I think it's best to let you mature and decide what you want to do in life first. So go out there and grow up to be a real heartthrob. I'll be waiting, as promised. <laughs> hey, time out, lover boy. I'm pretty sure I told you that if you want to move up to the main course, you'll have to work for it. You're not doing a whole lot to stop him, though. Sorry, couldn't help myself. 
you think you can overlook it just this once? There may be days when remembering how I feel right now is what keeps the fire burning in me until we can meet again. <sighs> You're a sly one, Schwarzer. Alright, I'll let you off this time. But no more freebies. Alright, I like this cannon. I think I'm going to make Instructor Sarah the cannon one from now on. Because that's actually really funny. A really sweet too. I wonder if Sharon will say anything. Oh, there's Selena's. Oh, wow, you get a scene too. Cool. I was hoping you would. <sighs> oh, Everybody there you one. are. You look bored, Celine. I guess I am. My work's done at this point. I feel like I aged a few decades as soon as the war came to an end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Feels a bit strange to be saying it after the fact, but you fought pretty well over in Crossbell. You've really mastered piloting Valimar. I'd like to think so anyway. I feel like I could pull off just about anything with him now. And to think, I couldn't do half as much with him when I was first starting out. You do realize you just admitted you were totally useless, right? <sighs> I wonder if you're gonna be okay without us, you know? Valimar must have drawn the short straw to end up with a budding awakener like you. Thanks for worrying about me all the time, Celine. Excuse me, what makes you think I was worried about you? Just about everything. From what I can tell, you've always worried about me. Back in the beginning, when I didn't know anything about piloting, you were always there to guide me through our battles. I doubt I would have ever come this far if you didn't have my back. So, thank you. For all of it. I did not expect this to take this <sighs> long. I'm glad I did Why this. Why do you always have to be like this? There are parts of the legends passed down in the clan that not even Emma and I know about. But just bear this one thing in mind. Divine Knights have incredible power, and they can become devils just as easily as they can become gods. Don't worry, I know. And I won't forget. Anyone in my position needs to know the difference between right and wrong. I'm well aware of that. That's fine then. Anyway, good luck, I guess. If you really need it, I can always come and help out. Cool. Well, I talked to everybody else. I might as well talk to Sharon. I don't know if I say anything, but hey. Never hurts to try. Oh, good evening, Master Reen. I thought you had already retired for the evening. Yeah, not quite. How would you like for me to put together some supper? I appreciate the offer, but I think I've eaten more than I should have as it is. Your cooking really is delicious, Sharon. I was starting to miss it after not having it for so long. It was my pleasure to cook for all of you again, so I pulled out all the stops with this one. Seeing all of you happily indulging my handiwork always makes every second of preparation worth it. Fair enough. <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Reen? Oh, I was just thinking about how you haven't changed a bit. I'm not sure it's my place to ask, but... Is everything alright over at Ouroboros? I can't help but wonder after how things turned out. Vita seems really shocked. I'm afraid I haven't a clue. No word of what's been happening in the society has reached my ears since then. I have no idea where the second Anguis is now, nor do I know what happened regarding the Phantasmal Blaze plan after the Chancellor declared he was taking it over. <laughs> and quite frankly, none of it is my concern. The answers won't change who I am, and it won't suddenly cause me to shift priorities. I am and always will be a proud maid of the Reinford family. Not because of the freedom we enforcers are granted, but because that is simply who I am. Much like how you being the Ashen Chevalier doesn't change how you are also a proud member of Class 7. <laughs> I suppose you're right. And no matter what happens to you in the future, never lose sight of who you really are. It's almost time for me to return to Ruhr. But should you ever need me again, I will gladly rush to your side. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I'm glad you can stay here for a while longer. Alright. <clears throat> Not bad. That took about 40 minutes. Everybody got to say their piece. That was nice. Very good. Very nice. Save it, just in case I need to make a sudden ending. So I didn't realize I was 55 hours into this. Ah, uh, something. Nope. Yes. 
guess I'll turn the radio on. In finance, the annexation of Crossbell has seen shares in Erebonian companies increase at an exponential rate across the board. And despite the Rhineford Group announcing sweeping changes to its board members, its strong forecast for the next fiscal year is... Coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Abend time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliche, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Yep. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. <laughs> she actually enjoyed doing Abend time, but it's not like she could have kept doing it after all this. Hello? This is you, isn't it, Reen? Oh, hey, Elise. And now you get something. Yes, it's me. Um, sorry for calling you like this so late in the evening. I'm not bothering you, am I? Oh, no, not at all. I'm just you, not used to you calling me. Why don't you get voices? Are you calling from school? Yes, I wasn't going to, but Her Highness insisted. It'll take some getting used to, but it's nice to be able to hear your voice even when you're so far away. Huh. I was pretty surprised too when I heard your voice. You weren't really one for phone calls back at home either. <laughs> I didn't have any specific reason for calling. It was just that the letter you sent about your return from Crossbell arrived today. Hmm. Oh, that was fast. I only sent it a couple days ago. I'm sorry I even had to be a letter. I really was planning to pay, go pay you a visit, but it didn't oh, work please out. Please don't apologize. I know how busy you must be now. Look, you can see Reed on the photo. You see? It's there, slightly. It's hard to tell, but it's there. Believe me, I was just happy to hear you were back safe and sound. Your trip must have been exhausting. I've never noticed By that. the sound of things, you did an excellent job, too. I'm so proud of you, Reen. Thanks. I didn't do all that much, though, really. Half of what the Imperial Chronicle is reporting is massively overblown. <laughs> if you say so. <sighs> hmm? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Regardless, now that I've heard your voice, I feel a lot better. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your night now. Right. Night, Elise. I'll come and see you as soon as I can, okay? Oh, there's no need for that. Good night, Rain. Sweet dreams. Hmm? She seemed somehow odd. She was probably just nervous talking on the phone. It was kind of weird for me when I was started using one, too. Tomorrow's going to be my final free day of the year. I guess I should do all my prep work for the next week's today so I can make the most of it. Epic. I'm actually surprised I get to do this. Oh wow. The race and all races. So yep. I've been getting pretty good at riding my old bike. Can have to pique my curiosity. Wanna sell up with the race? Class warfare, ladies and gentlemen, class seven. It's time to finally settle which class is superior. Come to the academy field. A bunch of students are helping put on a flea market, but we haven't got as much to sell it ourselves. We'd like mind remedying that. <clears throat> Like a new show here, Radio Ship, I need your help to get the first broadcast just right. Okay. My brother and I are having a fishing boat, and we're gonna need your help to actually make it happen. Yes! Yes, I do! There's one for the radio station, a request for the flea market. Cool. Let's get to work! About reporting quests. To report quests, speak to Toe in the Student Union Center. Okay. Well, in that case, first I'll go to the next shop. Oh, Lumber Blitz is making a comeback. 
Hey, really glad I told you kids to go out there and get the war ended. But look, I can't tell you. I can tell you ain't happy about the whole hero thing, but just try to take it one step at a time. It's your last free day. You're not gonna waste it by worrying. Take the day off! Well, let's see, what? I got 15 minutes. We're gonna do the, uh... Yep. Better do the fishing battle. Hey, Kenneth and Annabelle, too. It's good to see you again, Reed. So, you saw our request. I saw it, yeah. I wasn't quite sure what it was actually requesting, though. Am <clears throat> I clearing things up for me? Well, I guess it makes sense since you've been away from Tristan for so long. Where do I start? I'm sorry, this is really all my fault. Oh, come on, you know that's not true. My brother's just being a pain. Yep, still lost. Well, you know that Annabelle's supposed to marry my brother, right? Our parents set that one up. Now she's getting harassed by her family, and when she's going to type about when she's going to tie the knot. You can imagine that's not a whole lot of fun for her. If I may be so bold in such an act, Lady Annabelle was not even informed of this arrangement until after it had been decided and agreed upon. As one would expect, she was thoroughly shocked when she found out. She even went as, as far so far as to run away from home, which in turn had a stark effect on her once elegant personality. I had no idea. Well, I had been gone for nearly a year, I feel some of the fault rests on my shoulders as well. As such, should the engagement cancellation become realizable, I, can, I will do everything I can to make it happen. Are you saying it's possible to call all this off? It may be. Obviously, the first thing I did was ask my parents to call things off, but they wouldn't listen. The response was, it wouldn't do to insult a man of the Empire for no good reason. Whatever that means. So with that escape route closed, I figured I'd go to the man himself and see if he could call things off. My brother, charmer that he is, wasn't having any of that. He had a similar line about nobles not going back on their promises, and that was that. I imagine his greatest concern is our respective family social statuses. The head of the Lake Lord family is only a baron, while my father is a, is a Viscount. He's worried that not going through with the wedding would be an insult to a family of a higher status, huh? Marriages of status and convenience often take precedence over those of love among the nobility, if that much is true. But for my part, I wish nothing more than Lady Annabelle's happiness, and the arrangement certainly wasn't that. So with that in mind, I decided to talk to my brother one more time. Eventually, we managed to reach a very Lake Lord compromise. We'll settle this with an old, noble tradition. The Fishing Battle. Gotcha, fishing battles are split into two parts, right? Obviously, the main events between the two actual challengers, or captains in this case. But before that, their chosen vice captain face off, so that means it took you a while to get there, but you got it. As team captain, I'd like you to be my vice captain. I'd ask Annabelle to complete, but that seems kind of wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I figured as much. You guys have done a lot for me, so I'd be happy to help out, but do you think I'm really up for this? I mean, Annabelle's future is on the line, and I fished with you enough to quake in my boots when I hear the name, Lake Lord. Sure, I caught you Mirror's Guardian, but I've been out of the fishing game for a while now. I'm feeling pretty rusty. Hey, I'm the last person you need to be humble around. I'm sure my brother's vice captain's gonna be a good fisherman, but I'm sure he won't have anything on you. I'm not gonna pressure you into doing anything still, so if you wanna pass, just pass. Still, what do you say? Let's go! I don't know if I'm up to snuff, but if you believe in me, maybe I've got this. You definitely got this. Let's go. I'm gonna kill this man. Roughly ten minutes past, eventually Lake Lord the Third and his vice captain emerge and begin making their way towards them. Oh, this dude looks like a pompous jerk. Now look who it is, it's been a while. 
You haven't changed a bit. Still as lively as your fate, I see. How splendid it is to meet you, and to speak with you again, Cannon. Oh, good to see you in high spirits, Narciss. Narcissus. <laughs> well, why don't we dive right in? No sense in lollygagging. The spot will do, I suppose. Fish of fish of rejoice, for I have returned to Gracial Waters with my line once more. Let's hear the Lakeport family, huh? He definitely seems a lot more noble than you do. No offense. But how huh? he's already familiar with the fishing spots around here. Well, he is a forest grad. Alright, I guess if you love fishing as much as you do, then you'd probably know this city from back to front. Lady Annabelle, how splendid it is to see you again. I hope that you will be suitably entertained by the spectacle that is about to unfold before you. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry that my selfishness made you come all the way out here. Please, there's no need to apologize. This is entirely the fault of my foolish brother needlessly complicating things. I swear on my family name that I will defend our marriage. There is no need to worry your pretty little head. Yeah. So I assume that you are Kenneth Smith's captain. Who am I? I am the delight to delight a killer and styliferous gentleman narcissist. Though you may know me by my alias, the Crazy Wave. Not only do I hail from the Imperial Fishing Club, led by Lake Lord the Third, I am one of its exquisite and elite four. Allow me to offer you my most enthusiastic contrafabularities contra on being chosen to face me today. May our battles be splendipitous. I, uh, do my best to, I think. <laughs> what a commentoritous attitude. Mark my words, young man, you will go far. You pay this guy by the word or something? <laughs> the goal of the battle is to catch the same. Catching a designed fish, designated fish. First, the vice captains will complete. <laughs> Let's see if we can't just the captain. Ah, whatever. Sounds like a fair battle. Any skilled angler should be able to guide a capable vice captain, after all. I am prepared to accept the outcome, no matter what it may be. If you're sure, in that case, we're going to fish like we've never fished before. Oh, by the way, what fish will we be catching? Our vice captains will be attempting to catch a noble carp. I assume you're being theoretical when you ask what we'd be catching. The giant sword tail is the only acceptable choice. Uh, a huge 250 rage who survived decades of battles. I thought we'd be able to serve our fish for two weeks and sell some left over. All the ground bait you like, but I don't know if, how much you have on you. Here, it takes my mind. You can leave this area before you catch your fish, but we'll be in trouble if they catch theirs first, so don't wander off. Alright. Let's go! Okay, so I don't get to pick the rod. Control green and catch a noble carp. Last time I got a first try.
Damn it. Whoa, this is a big one. I did it, I caught one. Preposterable, has someone finally conquered the crazy wave? Most impressive, you chose your second well, it seems. Well, Thor's has some pretty big fish nowadays, so I figured I'd show a little school spirit, you know? Your angling abilities, no surprise, my own. We'll find out soon enough, won't we? That we shall. Nice to know I didn't let our side down, at least. Alright, come on! His fish three minutes after your vice can, which means you get a three minute head start, Kenneth. If you don't mind me asking, why do you care about this marriage so much in the first place? They didn't care about anything other than fishing. Hmm. Maybe you, when you finally mature, you'll understand. That's helpful. Look, I'm not about to tell you how to live your life, but I'm also not going to let you ruin someone else's either, Kenneth. I would ask you to refrain from talking during such a secret battle as this. Results are the only thing that matter here. I hope you haven't forgotten. My lady, is something wrong? No, not really. I haven't really been showing him the respect he deserves. To him, this battle is a serious affair, and he's fighting with everything he has but me. Some tedious ordeal that I just wanted to have behind me. Save your apologies for later. Right now, he's over there fighting for what he believes in. Fighting for you. Control can't to catch a giant sword tail. Yeah. Got it. Things up here. The victor is decided. You did it, Kenneth. Well done, Kenneth. Preposterous twaddle cock. This can't be happened. It can and it did. I gave up out my all, but I've still been defeated. Sorry, I'm trying to railroad this. I'm running out of time. Now, I apologize for betraying your trust, Lady Annabelle. Engage me to call it off. Oh, are you sure you've seen Desert before? Because there's such a very honor the nobility and there's always been a terminal will follow. Besides, I believe there's a man far more worthy of your hand than me. Narcissus, we're leaving. We're going to make our egg gristure. Have a good day! Wait! I'll say that if I'm fishing, I'm going to make sure you're okay with this. Why would I know? Are you giving my all fail satisfied? Okay. But I'm serious, 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 I'm I didn't think it was take this long. Uh, you a little stubborn. Yep. All right. Yeah, I don't think I was going to decide. Good thing. No. Yep. 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 Well, I mean, it is a very good job, but, but I mean, Annabelle. Uh, yes. What is it? All right. We'll have to see you on the next episode. I'm just going to finish this up and then. Yep. See you on the next one. Bye.